in field work. Uh, what we want to do is talk to the girls about feeling comfortable getting into the ready position. We also want to build just kind of a fundamental uh, skill where they're fielding the ball in front of them. Uh, and thirdly, that they're actually going to field through the ball rather than just waiting for the ball. Uh, obviously, different skills as they get older, we go through more of these sessions. We can talk a little bit about fielding the ball to the right or to the left of them. But right now, we're going to just start with focusing on uh, correct mechanics of fielding the ball straight at them. So there'll be two drills that we'll focus on. Do you guys mind being? Um, all right, so we're just going to set up, if you guys, the three of you don't mind just lining up um, on your knee, and then just we're going to do a triangle drill. So put the glove um, like in between your legs. Actually, you can take your glove off. Mm -hmm. If you guys can't see my leg, I'm sorry. If you guys want to come over. <laughs> Right, and how they want to feel the ball in front of them. Um, secondly, we want to talk about fielding the ball and actually fielding to the ball. So you're going to take your hands, right? If this is my glove, you're going to feel through the ball if there's a roll into it. And thirdly, what I would ask is if you're doing this with a group, it's great if you can get the girls that aren't fielding to mimic. The, the play so that all three of them if it's done well all three of them are doing the exact same motion um, also remind the girls to keep their hands comfortable right so a lot of times uh, girls you may see at the younger ages they're down in the ready position like this before the pitch is even made sometimes they're there like this through the whole inning um, so remind the girls that it's important to be comfortable uh, make sure they understand that their hands don't necessarily need to be churned out because the reality is if all of you were to do this, this isn't an exact, this isn't a comfortable position to be in. Make sure their hands are comfortable. If their hands are comfortable, chances are they'll be smooth. And if they're smooth, then they'll be fast through the play. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just roll the ball to you and you're just going to feel the ball through. Exactly, perfectly, through the ball. Uh, what I would ask is both of you guys, or now I'll pull the ball to you, if the two of you could do the same play, so you're just mimicking it, right? So we're rolling, back. Coach can go to the third, roll through, perfect. And that's it. That's, that's drill, and the whole idea is if you can get everybody to mimic it, they're in essence doing more reps without actually getting the ball. And so it also keeps everybody engaged during the entire right. time while they're waiting to get the ball. Correct. Does anybody have any questions? Yes. So the next drill that we're going to do is just a progression of that. So we've talked about how to properly feel the ball in front of them, feeling comfortable, keeping their hands comfortable and agile. Um, so this next drill. It's basically to help the girls understand to get into the ready position so that they can execute what they just did. Um, so what we'll do is we'll end up setting up two cones. In this case, I'll use two balls. Do you guys mind lining up behind me? And what I've taught girls before to do is just very easily three steps. It's basically, it's step, step, drop. Um, and again, a lot of girls are in that ready position through the whole game, through a whole inning, and we don't want that because that's not comfortable. So to do just a step, step, draw, all they're really executing, and, and depending on how much you want to explain to them, I've always taught the girls that when the pitcher's at the top of their arc, they can just take a step, step forward, and put their glove down ready for their play. And the ball, again, if their glove, if they were on their knees, their glove would be where that ball is, their hand is out in front so that they can just scoop the ball, and feel the ball forward. So what I've done uh, here is with two, cones or two balls, I'm going to ask the girls to basically execute that by step, step forward, get down. They're going to back up and then step forward again. And I'm going to roll the ball on their second, uh, second time through. And the idea is just to get them moving. Make sense? Um, also, one more important thing that we really stress in the high school is not to flip your glove. So I know like a lot of the infielders when they're coming, they're like this and the ball comes to them, they go like this. Um, at the high school, we try not to do that just because, say you get down too late, the, the ball is gone. So we try to make sure that our glove is always like here, 
so it's easier to get down and you don't have to take the extra time to like flip your wrist. An easy thing like we say at the high school is like ten, your palm has like an eye so like always have the eye towards the ball. And also not flipping your wrist allows you to have a stronger wrist and be able to push through the ball more rather than just kind of like being like floppy. <laughs> Okay, so can you just your So you just take two steps forward and then back up and then come forward again, I'll go the same thing back. And you notice she didn't roll her wrist, right? She came in ready to feel the ball uh, or feel through the ball. So we'll do it one more time. They'll still learn outfield drills, right? So those are the kind of things that even at the high school level, we're teaching the girls every single position that we possibly can, other than pitching and catching, every single time that we have a practice. And I strongly encourage you to do the same thing at, at all levels within the program. I think the other thing that was important, if you noticed their position when they were getting down, they weren't just hunched over, looking straight at the ground. They are almost sitting back down. Um, this is important so that it allows, as they get older, or even during the course of a game to be flexible enough and quick enough to move to their right or to their left, uh, as opposed to being hunched down. So all three of them did a terrific job getting into that ready position. One other thing on that too, and you'll see all, well, two or three of them anyway right now, they're sitting there, they have, they're sitting there with the, with the glove closed. So they're sitting with the glove closed. As soon as they get into that ready position or they're about to start feeling them, well, they'll pop their gloves, so they held it wide open, right? So. It just could, Kimmy just did. So she'll here, but she'll have it folded over so it stays open. You want to have that glove open the whole time so it's not just resting against their hand, their knee, right? Keep that glove wide open. I just tell the girls to pop the glove and just case a nice big palm so you can see the whole thing that you were saying. And last, before we move on, you wanted to show them like what an outfield ready position looks like? Yeah. We're going to so, cover that with my side. I still just want to show what it looks like. Yeah. So an outfield position, or yeah, position is different than an infield because obviously infield you're looking for balls on the ground. Usually, outfield you generally have to cover more distance and be more quick on your feet. So when you're in the outfield, you don't want to get yourself stuck down here because it's going to take you a lot of time to get up and then go. So for outfield, what I like to do is I like to put my glove foot in front and keep my arm here. So let's say like a ball goes this way, I can turn and like put my arms. Or if a ball goes behind me, I can turn and put my arms. It just you're more your legs are still bent, but you're not like. Here, your glove isn't down. I keep my glove here because it's just like easier to come from here and go straight up. And also keeping my glove like tucked allows me to pump my arms, which is something that's very important in the outfield because the more you pump your arms, like the faster you're gonna get to the ball, obviously, which will allow you to catch more balls and like cover more area. So I keep my glove right here so I can easily just pump my arms and go. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? So, wait, I think just mainly just be feeling the ball in front or whether it be as far as.